good morning students so in our karnataka in the previous class we have studied about the forests and wildlife agriculture and industries and later tourist places and also the art literature and music of the kalaburgi division and also here vachana movement and afterwards dasa sahitya we have studied in the previous class so in this class we are going to study about the philosopher poets education and health and the freedom fighters the uniqueness of the districts of this division so here kalaburgi district yadgiri district bidar district raichur district and koppal district and afterwards ballari districts so we are going to read we are going to study in these points in this class let's see about the philosophers poets here see the songs written by the folklore artists and fakirs and also other saints can be called here philosophical lyrics here so what is called philosophical lyrics means nothing but here the songs which were written by which were written by the folklore artists and uh, fakirs and afterwards other saints so they have written many of these songs that can be called here philosophical what here lyrics the later so many of the writers called here siddhaya puranik jayatirtha rajapurohit shantaraja and pandit taranath bichi budenor sangama and simpi lingana and shailaja chandran and afterwards jayadevi tai ligade and uh, channamma walikar and uh, jambana amarachinte so they were all enriched by their writing what means nothing but the literature of kalburgi so they have all enriched their what means nothing but the literature of the kalburgi so by their writings here okay and also chennur jalal saab and afterwards hanumantawa so they have written good lyrics also here who means nothing but chennur jalal saab and afterwards hanumantawa here okay and also many other contributed to the music field also here who means nothing but sidrama sidrama jambaladinni and also pandit taranath and gajal gundamma and afterwards subhadramma mansur so they have all contributed to the field of music here so later in the field of painting also here who is famous in the uh, uh, field of painting is nothing but here sm pandit see sm pandit is the famous person a famous personality in the field of painting here and also doddata and uh, sannata and also tagalugombe ata so those are all active folklore theater here so which are the active folklore theater means nothing but so doddata and also sannata and also tagalugombe ata okay then who is famous in the tagalugombe ata who is known for the tagalugombe ata means nothing but belgal veeranna here who belgal veeranna see belgal veeranna he is known for what means nothing but tagalugombe ata here okay and also we are going to see many of the folk dance also means nothing but here nandi kunita and also alavai kunita and also chaudammana kunita and also lambani kunita kunita and uh, kolata and also veeragase so these are all the folk dances here these are all the famous folk dances and also when we come to the folk art when we come to the here folk art so uh, karadi majalu and also kille kyatara ata and also hagalu vesha these are all the part of folk art here which are the part of the folk art means nothing but here karadi majalu and also kille kyatara ata and also hagalu vesha here and also we know that bidar is famous for the bidari art also bidar is famous for bidari art and also kinnal is famous for here kinnal toys here okay it is famous for the toys and also 
Koppal is famous for the blankets. So, blankets of uh, Koppal, those are all the traditional arts here. So, which are the traditional arts means I think but that is Bidari art of Bidar and uh, toys of Kinnal and also blankets of Koppal, these are all the traditional arts. So, this is about here the philosopher poets here. So, next uh, we go to here education and health. When you come to education and health of this division, okay, here so most econo most uh, educationally backward, most educationally backward district of this uh, division or means nothing but that is Raichur and Yadgir. Okay, so the districts, the districts called here Raichur and Yadgir or most uh, educationally backward uh, districts of this uh, uh, division here. Okay. Even though, even though we are going to see most educational uh, back, backward districts in this division here, so we are going to see universities also in this uh, division called here Gulbarga University and also Central University okay. or in uh, which uh, division means I think but Kalaburgi division. And also we are going to see Kannada University in Hampi and also Sri Krishna Devaraya University in Ballari and Agriculture University in Raichur and Animal Husbandry University and also Fisheries Universities are in Bidar. And also there is a Buddha Vihar so in Kalburi here. So even though in this division we are going to see the educationally backward districts. So, we are going to see many of the universities also in this uh, division here. Okay. And also we are going to see the medical colleges also and uh, uh, where we are going to see these medical colleges in this division means I think but Ballari, Kalaburgi and Bidar and also in uh, Raichur we are going to see the medical colleges also here. And also this uh, division has here what district hospitals and also health sub centers. So, these are all providing what means nothing but health care facilities to the rural population here. Which one? The district hospitals and also health care centers are providing the what means nothing but health care facilities to the rural population. And also this division had four important dynasties of the Karnataka. It means nothing but four dynasties of Karnataka, four dynasties of uh, uh, Karnataka ruled in this uh, division. Which are those means nothing but they are Rashtrakutas and also Kalyana Chalukyas and Vijayanagara and also Bahamani kings. They have all ruled in this uh, division here. Four important dynasties of the Karnataka they have ruled in this uh, division here. So, this is about here education and health of uh, Kalaburgi division here. So, next uh, we go to study about the freedom fighters. Okay. So, when we come to the freedom fighters here, so they have struggled for the what means nothing but freedom. So, here also the many of the people from Karnataka, many of the people from Karnataka participated in the freedom struggle and also Karnataka integration movement also here. So, many of the Karnataka people participated in freedom struggle and also what here Karnataka integration movement. And uh, we are going to see two developments, we are going to see here what two developments with regard to freedom struggle here. So, what are the two uh, important or two developments we are going to see in the freedom struggle means nothing but one is the liberty movement, which one is the liberty movement which aimed at instilling national spirit. So, which aimed at instilling the national spirit among the people that is the liberty movement. So, another development is here what opening national schools, what here opening the national schools to educate the children. So, why they wanted to open the national schools means nothing but here to educate the children. So, for the purpose of this one here, they have established four national schools. Okay, where means nothing but here, say Nutan Vidyalaya. So one is here, Nutan. 
see Nutan Vidyalaya where Miss Hathing but in a Kalaburgi so they have started they have started Nutan Vidyalaya it is also one of the national schools it started in the place called here Kalaburgi so next school is here Usmania which one is Usmania National School okay where Miss Hathing but in Chincholi in Chincholi and another one is here Vidyananda Gurukula Vidyananda Gurukula so where they have started means in the place called here Kukanur ok where they have started means nothing but in the place called here Kukanur which one means Vidyananda Gurukula and one more is Hamdard National School. See, Hamdard National School in the place called here Raichur. Okay, the place called Raichur, they have started a, which one here? Hamdard National Schools. See, all these national, four national schools they have started a, in the, all over the Karnataka here. So, why means nothing but to educate the children here. Okay. And also here Kalyana Shetty, see the personality called here Kalyana Shetty, he built a Tarun Sangha, see he built here Tarun Sangha, why means the to take part in the freedom struggle here. See Kalyana Shetty established or built a what means the but Tarun Sangha, why means the but they have to take part in the freedom struggle here, so because of that reason. So next one more personality called here Sri. Ramananda Tirtha, who here? Sri Ramananda Tirtha. See, one more great personality called here, Sri Ramananda Tirtha of uh, this division, okay. He is also the prominent freedom fighter here. He is also the prominent freedom fighter of this uh, Kalaburgi division, who here? Sri Ramananda Tirtha here, okay. And also Sardar Sharana Gauda Inamdar, who here Sardar Sharana Gauda Inamdar took part, where means nothing but in the liberation from Nizam's rule movement here. So, who took part in the liberation from the Nizam's rule movement means nothing but Sardar Sharana Gauda Inamdar here, okay. And also in the year September 17. In September 17, 1948, the September 17, 1948 year, see when the Kalaburgi division became independent, the Kalaburgi divi division became independent when Nizam kingdom was annexed to India here, okay. When the Nizam kingdom, uh, the Nizam of Hyderabad, the Nizam kingdom, when it annexed to India in the year 1948 year the Kalaburgi division became independent here. So that means in the year 1948 only here. Okay. So this is about the freedom fighters here. So next we are going to learn about the uniqueness of the districts of this uh, division here. Okay. And also this division had four districts in the beginning. So even uh, in the beginning of the class I have told here. So it has four districts in the beginning. So later it uh, became here six districts here, okay. Before it was only, there was only four districts. So later, so we are going to see now six districts in the Kalaburgi division here. So in the year 1997, when we nothing but in the year 1997, Raichur was divided, say Raichur was divided to create what means nothing but to create Koppal district here. When means nothing but in the year 1997 Raichur was divided. So Raichur was divided why means nothing but to create Koppala district here. So like that in the year 2010, in the year 2010 Kalburgi was divided here. In the 2010 Kalburgi was divided to create what means nothing but Yadgir district here. 
okay so uh, as i told here in the beginning there were only four districts so afterwards uh, it uh, had here six districts so why you means nothing but in the year 1997 what divided here raichur was divided to create the koppal districts and also kalburgi was divided to what create yadgir district here okay so let's see now in the uniqueness of the districts of the division first we are going to study about the kalburgi district here okay so we know that it is a border district here kalburgi district is a border districts and it it was the capital city of the bada bahamani rulers it was the capital city uh, capital city of the bahamani rulers during the 13th century so during the 13th century see gulbarga was the capital city of the what here bahamani rulers okay and also the major crops when we come to the crops of this uh, uh, district which are the major crops of this district means nothing but here pulses maize cotton and uh, uh, horticultural crops so those are the major crops of this uh, district and also we are going to see many of the uh, famous temples in this uh, district called here sana basaveshwara temple the urus of khwaja bande nawaz darga and also the fort built by bahamani rulers in 1347 so these all temples and afterwards uh, dargahs and afterwards forts will attract uh, thousands of the people here this all attract the thousands of the people here and also uh, recently what means nothing but siddhartha buddha vihara so recently which was established means nothing but or uh, established and built means nothing but here siddharthas what means buddha vihara has been built uh, in uh, kalburgi here okay and also uh, one more pilgrim uh, center of this uh, uh, district called here uh, what means gangapura it means dattatreya temple so he is also a pilgrimage center here okay it is in the banks of the bhima river okay and uh, this district also has two universities here okay this kalaburgi district has here two universities called here kalaburgi university another also another one is a central university we are going to see two universities in the gulbarga district here that is one is gulbarga university another one is central university here okay and also we are going to see 52 feet pillar 52 feet uh, feet pillar called here uh, bananti kamba what means nothing but that is bananti see bananti kamba bananti kamba it is in sedam it is in a sedam and also marthur one more place is here marthur one more is here see marthur is the historical places of this uh, districts here okay which one bananti kamba it is in sedam another one is marthur these two are the historical places of this uh, district here okay and also we are going to see there are many cement factories in this uh, district here so we are going to see many cement factories in this uh, kalburgi district here so this is about kalburgi districts and afterwards we are going to study about yadgir district here okay and uh, we know that this is a small district uh, with uh, only three taluks here it is a very small district here with three taluks called here yadgir surapur and uh, shahapur here so we are going to see three taluks that is yadgir taluk and surapur taluk and also shahapur taluk in this uh, yadgir district here and also district was established in the year as i told here in the 2010 okay kalburgi was divided to create yadgiri district so it uh, this district uh, was established in the year 2010 here okay and also this area was ruled by shatavahanas and uh, chalukyas and rashtrakutas adil shahis and also nizam so this uh, what this area this yadgiri area and surrounding of the yadgiri area was ruled by these many dynasties also here 
and also we are going to find the rare mineral called here uranium we are going to find the rare uranium called here mineral called here uranium is also available here and uh, we are going to find uh, we are going to see the big factories called here core green sugar and fuels private limited is the biggest uh, factory of this uh, district also here okay and also we are going to see the mountain range in shahapur taluk it appears like what means nothing but the sleeping buddha what appears like a sleeping buddha means nothing but uh, what the mountain range in the shahapur taluk the mountain range in the shahapur taluk it appears like what means nothing but sleeping buddha here so these are the highlights of a what yadgiri districts so remaining the district called here bidar raichur and koppal and ballari of uh, kalburgi division so we are going to learn in the next class so in the today's class we have studied about the philosopher poets education and health and freedom fighters and the uniqueness of the districts of the division in that we have studied about the kalburgi division and also yadgir division the remaining part we are going to study in the next class okay thank you